Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Marcy's 1999 here, and um, today um, I received a question today at, when I was at school today. So when I was at school today, guys, when I was in my sixth period class, um, my classmates asked me like, when I told them I got Super Mario 3D All Stars on Nintendo Switch, people, that one of my classmates asked me saying, "How do you play this game?" Despite the original games being on Nintendo 64, GameCube, and Wii. With Super Mario 64 released in 1996 on Nintendo 64, Super Mario Sunshine released in 2002 on GameCube, and Super Mario Galaxy released on the Nintendo Wii in 2007. So, I'm glad you asked. Now, how you play it is, um, you can play with either the Joy-Cons or the Pro Control here. So, let's show you how the controllers work. So, press A here. Let's start with Super Mario 64 here. So we got Super Mario 64 released in 1996 and 1997. I forgot to mention that Super Mario 64 was released in 1996 in both Japan and North America, though. However, the Japanese version had differences compared to its North American release, like different sounds, names, etc. And no voice acting in the Japanese version, only in the Western release. The game was later released in 1997 in, in Europe and Australia. Though the game did get re-released in Japan in 1997, but with the Shindo Taiyo version. And then came 2003. 2003 is when the game was released in China, but on the IQ player. Which, in 2000, China held a uphold a video game console ban. So how you play Super Mario 64 with this is, um, you just, um, basically use this control, the joystick on the left one here. It's just to move around. The right joystick is to move the camera. Which, somehow people had difficulty with the Nintendo 64 controller, and... And I know you're thinking, like, Super Mario 64! Like, I really want to play, like, the original version. Now, you could try getting a Nintendo Switch online controller for Nintendo 64, but... You might have difficulty playing with it. I don't know, since I don't own a Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch online controller. So, uh, yeah. Also, the controls have been changed, like... Super Mario 64, like, when you, um... When you jump, it was it was usually A, and when you attack, it's B. But however, in 3D All Stars, they just use uh, either B or A to jump, and uh, Y and X to hit. You also press either L or R to look at Mario's point of view. You press either Z L or Z R to crouch. So yeah. So, pretty much, nothing really much has been changed, despite the controllers here. How you leave the game is you have to press the, the, the minus, the negative sign here. Look, see, look. When I press select, it takes you to the menu. You can either choose the controls. So, as you can see here, these are the controls for the game. And, yeah, plus is actually used for the pause screen. And, uh, yeah, these are the actions you can do. It has options, like... Options which you can change the camera, but you can also return to the title selection. Also, there's also this thing like um, you can also play this game in five languages, but it's actually four, which are uh, four languages being English, French, German, and Japanese. Though for English, you can either play uh, in the U.S. release or the U.K. slash Australian release. This is for Europe, really. Yeah, and then comes the Sumari Sunshine. This game can be played up to seven languages. Well, it's actually five, actually, which are, again, English, French, German, and Japanese, which are from Super Mario 64, but they also added two new languages, which are Italian and Spanish. For English, which is, again, US or European, Australian English. So this is how when you play Super Mario Sunshine on Nintendo Switch. So basically, um, if you play the Japanese version, it has a blue logo. I'll get to the Japanese part. Let me show you this right here. So basically, this is the Western release for Super Mario Sunshine. Released in 2002 in Japan, North America, Europe, and Australia. So 
so you see here look it basically they just use this like again just like from the original game like you know you can use this to move to select and uh i'll show you the features of like you know when you want to use the water hose So, um, how you, you press X to switch between either a shooting or water. Which, um, this is used to fly. Like, and then you also press, um, you press Z, L to move camera angles. You press L for the map. R is where you, R and Z, R is where you shoot. There's also where you want to aim, like, um, press A. And be a jump, which I pretty much don't remember from playing the original version on GameCube. Where um, um, there's also where you have to use Y. Y is where you you jump, and then you just do that thing you right there. When you do this, you jump either pressing A or B, and then ZL. That's the ground pound. And how you fly is you press um, you press either B or A. Combine that with the L or R, but ZR buttons the R and Z R buttons like let me show you look. But this you know you can fly. Though your tank is pretty limited on how much water you can use. Like see look here. Or this here. This is also as a refill if you're in the water. There's also this like if you press um the the right pad here, the right joystick, and then you just press um you use this, the left joystick to aim. And then you press I and you press the R. Though this game is not limited with just um, the flood with the flying ability, you can also get the rocket, but that's in other levels. There's also the the propulsion. Again, just like from Super Mario 64, you just go back. And uh, again, it shows you like here are the controls, ground pound, options, and return to title selection. And then comes to Sumar Galaxy from 2007. This game has 10 languages, though it's actually seven, which are um, again like from Sumar Sunshine, which are English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, and Spanish. But they did add a new language, which is the Korean. Oh, and I also forgot to mention uh, when I play the Japanese version of this, of Sumar Sunshine. So, like, here's what happens when you play the Japanese version of Sumari Sunshine. See, look. The Nintendo logo is blue, unlike the Western version, which is red. The title is also different. Like, it's basically written in the Katagana and Hiragana characters. So, you see right there? That's the Japanese translation for Sumari Sunshine. Then comes to um, Sumo Galaxy. Like I was right back to Sumo Galaxy. So um, this is what happens when you play the game. Since this game was released on Nintendo Wii, so it's kind of strange playing this game with the Pro Controller if you can use a Wii Mote. You are able to play the game through a Wii Mote, though. However, you're gonna need an adapter to play it through wireless. So um, how you play it is um, you press R. And then, uh, and then, uh, you just aim it like this, like it's a Wii remote. See, look, and then, uh, so how you do it is, um, let's just, sorry guys, let me try expanding. Sorry, I won't let me try expanding this. I'm just gonna have to cut this off for a moment, let me try expanding it. Okay, so there we go, um. So how you play is, um, you use, um, let me try expanding for a moment, let's... Okay, so, um, you use the, the left joystick to move. The right joystick is for the camera. ZL is to crouch. ZR is to shoot star bits. R is to control, but also align the star right there, which is used to collect star bits. There's also ZL, all, L is used to, um, change the camera angle. 
And, uh, and A and B is to jump, while X and Y are to attack. But you can also attack by shaking the controller, just like you would back in the day. Like that. So, here's how I want to try collecting Star Bits and Super Mario Galaxy on Nintendo Switch here. Here's why I try playing it. Look, see, look. Like this, and then you just aim, like, red right star. You press A. That's pretty much it. You can also use to aim the controls. And let's try, uh... Let me try showing an example. Like, let's try Battle Rock Galaxy. So, um, this is how when you play with the control here. So, like, uh, again, like, you press uh, R to aim here, like this. Like it's a Wiimote. So um, let me show you how uh, you can use this. Um. So you see, look, this is an example here. So uh, you just aim like this and then you collect star bits. And it's that simple. I also forgot to mention, um, Press select, um, it leads to the menu, like, this is the menu and the controls, the actions. There's also a co-star mode, which, uh, this can actually be played with, um, player one and player two Joy-Cons, but I don't feel like doing it right now, so, um, I think I might, but I'm gonna need a second player in order to play it. Like, if I had a friend over, which is an, which has another YouTube channel. So, yeah. So, um, when I played the... This is what happens when I play the Korean version of Sumai Galaxy. This game was released in North America, Europe, Australia, and Japan in 2007. And South Korea was released in 2008. So this here is the Korean version of Sumai Galaxy. As you can see, it's under a different name, which is Super Mario Wii. Released in 2008 in South Korea. It still functions the same as the game, actually, as you see. Yeah. Now, let's turn on to the next segment where we can show you, like, what's it like to use it with Joy-Cons. So, let's get to it. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I got my Joy-Cons on, so... So, when you press, um... Uh, if you're probably playing Super Mario 64 here, um, it still works the same like the Joy-Cons. Um, well, specifically the Pro Controller. It still works the same, actually. Like, um, I can press start. As you can see here, look, it still works the same. Like, camera angles, switching the camera, ground pound, jump, slide, attack. See, look, they still function the same. Even the select button still works as well. Now let's try heading on to Sumari Sunshine. So um when it comes to playing Sumari Sunshine still works like the pro controllers and then uh let's get to how um let's see how you play it's so, like i'm um, moving around still the same like this still jumping sliding like that moving the camera angle map holding still running around Then jump while flying. Yeah, that. Then, uh, pressing this while, and then you're aiming. Still works like that. Sorry, guys. Look. Yeah, see, look, it still works like that. See? Yeah. Still works the same, really, from the. 
from the other version. With the other controller, still works the same. But now, let's try Super Mario Galaxy. When you play with Super Mario Galaxy, Oh, shoot, sorry guys. I forgot it's still on Korean. I know you guys might not be able to understand if I play it in Korean. Since I don't understand uh, Korean pretty well. Let's go with English. Sorry about that. Forgot that I still had it on Korean. So basically, um, you press uh, A. Then when it comes to um, using this, like... Uh, Press R, look, uh, I move this like it's a actual Wiimote. You use the right Joy-Con to aim like it's an actual Wiimote. Like, this here is the nunchuck. See, look like this. Still functions, actually. Overall, it still functions. Then, uh, spinning like that. Like this. I'd say um, it functions pretty well if you use the Joy-Cons. Now, Super Mario 3D All-Stars does work with wired controllers, but only for 64 and Sunshine, since they're mostly used with wired controllers. Super Mario Galaxy, for example, uses a wireless controllers. Uses controllers that are wireless. So it's still like a Wiimote here. See it like this. This process still functions if you play it in tabletop mode as well. Which I'm about to soon head on to that. So we'll be showing you um, how the controls work. For Super Mario Galaxy here on the switch like this. Uh, see it looks like this. So guys, I'm collecting star bits right here like this. So I'm still collecting star bits here guys, like that. So yeah, you basically just use it like it's an actual Wiimote. I can even do it, see look like that. Like that guys, that's how you use it. See like how the star bits go? Yeah, like it's a Wii Remote. So you just gotta imagine like it's a Wii Remote. So, yeah. So, I'm about to show you next what's it like to do it in tabletop mode. So, um... I just need to get the Nintendo Switch out of the dock, so, um... Let's head on to the next thing where I show you what's it like to play it in tabletop mode with... Both the Joy-Cons and the Pro Controller. So, let's go! Alright guys, so um, this is what happens when you play the game in tabletop mode. So, um, I got my Pro Controller here. So, uh, play Super Mario 64 like that. It still does the same features on TV mode as well. I mean, I like the idea of playing this game on the go. Still does the same features from the original game, like, see, look, same features. Super Mario Sunshine, you already know that does the same as well, but I guess I could show it to you quickly. Can you still use the same features? Still, we'd use the same features here, like this, this, jumping, like this, this way, sidestep, like this. Yeah, switching. 
to a flood. Like that. Yep, still functions the same. But let's try some more galaxy now. When you're playing in handheld or tabletop mode, well, this is tabletop mode. Look, see, look. It still functions the same like the console, like in tabletop mode. Let's try this dome. So then you press A to um, just like the Wemo. this be more it takes flight we'll just try this you're doing this uh let me show you look again just like that you press um you know like that you also press um just like from the console versions Struggling with the Joy Cons. Try going for that, so let's head on to the next scene. Alright, guys, so um, now I'm going to show you like uh, how you play Super Mario 3D All Stars, but with the Joy Cons in tabletop mode. So, I'm just showing you how it works. Super Mario 64 here. Probably gonna same from let's play the same like from TV mode. Try playing Luxy Luck. Still functions the same. Like that. Pause menu even works. We are about to head off to Sumari Sunshine to see how it works. Is that guys? This is how when you play Sumari Sunshine, like, see, look. Pressing this and look. Still works, just like TV mode. Same abilities here, same thing from TV mode. So let's get to um, Galaxy to see how it works. This is how when you play Super Mario Galaxy here. So um, on Nintendo Switch. So um, with the Joy Cons, this is how you do it. Like. Press R, uh, right, this button here. And then uh, you just move it like this, like it's a Wemo. Like this. This feature does somehow work with uh, games that support the motion control that the Nintendo Switch has. I, I don't know what they're called. I think they're called gyro controls. Yeah. This might be a cool feature for any rail shooters on the Nintendo Switch, like House of the Dead Remake. Which um, I won't be able to do a video on that because, well, it's pretty bloody, so you might have to look it at yourself. So, um, this is how when you're playing Super Mario Galaxy on the Nintendo Switch. So right here, look. My god, I don't care. <laughs> So that's how we do it, like, Starbits here, like, let's see, look. 
you just aim it right there. Like that, like that. It's really simple. And then you also do this. Which is the spinning attack. But you can also do it with Y or X. Press A and B. It's to jump. This thing here is to move the camera. This here is to move. This one's to the ZL. It's to crouch and then ground pound while jumping. L is to move the camera angle. R is to move the switch. And then uh, ZR is to throw star bits. Like that. So we're going to be heading on to the handheld mode section about how you play it. So uh, let's get to that part, um, how you play in handheld mode. So now let's show how you can play this game in handheld mode. For Super Mario 3D All-Stars here. Now for Super Mario 64, it still functions the same like from handheld or tabletop mode. Well, specifically tabletop and TV mode. Still functions the same here. Like you press start here. You use this to move. You use this. So you see, look. Still functions the same. See, look. Like that. Like that. Kind of like controls, stuff like this. You can even pop at the menu. Yeah. Then you press A. Super Mario Sunshine. Nintendo. Start. Then, uh, let's try how you play this mode. Like, see, look. So, um, still functions the same from TV and handheld mode. Well, actually, we're in handheld mode right now. This is actually, uh, it works with TV and tabletop mode. See, look. Press B to jump. Y to slide. A to jump. X to switch. And still works the same here. And this one here, look. Same here. Map open. Like that, yeah. That's how it's working. And now, Super Mario Galaxy. Let's show you guys how you can play the game through handheld mode. How you can play the game through handheld mode is like this. Um, now, for... TV and tabletop mode, you press the R button if you're using either the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller. You know I mean? You see, like, now we're here. So, like, if you're in handheld mode, you tap. Right there. Like that. Then you're just moving like this. Now, it's kind of a pain to do it at the same time. You press Y and X to attack. Air and B is to jump. L is to move the camera angle. Z, R is to, you know, basically shoot the stars. Then, uh, Z, L, which is to ground pound. See, so, like, we're pressing it like that. Then, uh, basically, you're, it's like you're playing on... It's like if you're playing Super Mario Galaxy on an iPad, though. However, it's gonna have to use the same features like this. Like, it's an iPad. Alright, guys, uh, that's how you play Super Mario Galaxy. So, let me get to the this piece here. I was like, see, look. This bush here. Then, uh, you just tap it like this. See how you collect the stars? Yes. Like that it can be kind of a pain sometimes, but once you take practice to it, you'll get used to it. So you see, look, it still functions the same here.
Sorry, guys. See, look. Like that, when you tap the pad and do it like this, basically, you're collecting the things. So, this is what we've gone through on how you play uh, modes of Super Mario Galaxy. So, um, the verdict. So, the verdict here is of this question. Is Super Mario 3D All-Stars worth it? Yes and no. Well, the yes being that, like, if you want to revisit these old Mario titles, say, like, um, if you grew up in the 90s and 2000s, this is pretty much the best collection to revisit those titles. But for me, I personally chose this game to revisit Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy. I actually used to play those two games when I was a kid. Super Mario Galaxy was the one I played the most. I actually used to have a cousin who... Well, my cousin actually used to own a Wii. And she had both Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. And I actually got my first experience on Super Mario Sunshine when I was at a doctor's office. In a Oops. At a doctor's office. And Super Mario 64, I was actually introduced to it to videos, but the one way I actually got to play it was not by playing the original console in Nintendo 64, but with the remake, Super Mario 64 DS. And, um, well, for the other thing, when I said no, it's more of a kind of no. Because, um, well, controls have been altered for both Super Mario Sunshine and Super Mario Galaxy here. Which, um, for Super Mario Sunshine, you had to press the right joystick in order to, um going up POV and then you use the left joystick to move and aim. And then for Super Mario Galaxy, you have to press the R button if you're playing in handheld or tabletop mode. Well, I mean TV mode and tabletop mode specifically. You had to press the R button and then you had to aim it. If you're playing in handheld mode, you had to tap it. So, yeah, and also, um, something that some people chose not to get this game because, well... For some reason, other 3D Mario games were not included on the list, like Super Mario Galaxy 2 and Super Mario 3D Land. Oh, and Super Mario 64 DS, but probably because it's probably maybe for the best, because I don't know. And um, also, another kind of no that's worth it is this game is currently not only selling in physical copies. The game originally sold in, well... Both physical and digital copies. Released on September 18th, 2020, though. This game was discontinued in March 31st, 2021. Though it's no longer on the Nintendo eShop. Try going to the Nintendo eShop and then you search up Super Mario 3D All-Stars. You'll see it's not there. So the only way how you can get this game is through physical copies. Yeah. That's pretty much it. And... So, overall, uh, it might be worth it to those who want to revisit these three titles that are 3D Mario games. So, yeah. Copies of this game are now selling on Amazon, though. You can choose either the North American or European version. Since if you have a European copy, and if you're worried about it, well, don't worry. The Nintendo Switch is region-free, so this means you can play both... North American, European, and Japanese releases. So it's not an issue. Yep, so, uh... This is all for the crash course on Super Mario 3D All-Stars of how these three classic Mario games can be played on Nintendo Switch. So, anyways, see you guys next time. Bye!